Breaking news. Olusegun Obasanjo finally comments on Buhari's, you know, ban on Twitter. And what he said to Nigerians has been making lots of reactions. In fact, Nigerians have been, in fact, the reactions, I will get to tell you about them. At the end, you know, of the reading, you will hear what Nigerians have been saying, a cross-section of Nigerians. Olusegun Obasanjo said, my people, Cry to God, cry to God, eh? cry to God. God can do anything. If you want, if something is bothering you and that thing is becoming a turn on your flesh, cry to God. He said, God will help you. You will be able to overcome that thing. That was what he said, though. That Nigerians should cry to God. Nigerians should cry to God. That God will help them overcome the challenge. And if something is making you very uncomfortable, you can actually tell God, God can take the thing away. Ah! That's a big one. That you should tell God, God will take the thing away. And remember that the giver of all life is God. Uh, do you know that you did not make yourself? Let's, let's look at it together. I know there are some people that say I'm atheist. I don't believe they, of the God existence. But you know you did not make yourself. And you know that the air in your lungs, you did not put it there. And you know the day the air goes out, that's it. Gone forever. You, you know? People can try to use oxygen, but for how long? We know the sleeping priest of uh, which of this country now still sleeping, you know. They shave his beard and all that, yeah. But I mean, it is what it is. When when he's gone, he's gone. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Olusegun Basanjo has told Nigerians, reacting to the Twitter ban, cry to God, cry to your God. If something is uncomfortable. God can take it away. Former Nigerians President Olusegun Obasanjo has urged Nigerians to take the current security challenges, economic challenges befalling the country and all that is currently going on to God. According to him, the situation is now beyond what an ordinary man can solve, adding that everybody is overwhelmed. I personally know what is going on in the country. I can see what is happening. I hear every day. I see for myself. Obasanjo, a two-term president and also a former military head of state, noted that leaders at all levels were overwhelmed by the current challenges in the country. And presently now we are even more exposed to the international community who is watching and looking at what is going on in Nigeria. Obasanjo spoke in Abiy Okuta, the Ogun state capital, on Saturday during the 16th edition of Prayer Breakfast held virtually and organized in his honor by the Christian Association of Nigeria, Ogun State, the chapter. Obasanjo emphasized the need for prayers to battle difficult situations in the country. We have seen what is going on. We are all overwhelmed with the crisis in our land. That is why our first point of call must be to God. When something is happening and you feel very uncomfortable, you can talk to your God about it. He will take it away. His father is a father. He's loving. Just like when a child is being beaten by a dog, the father will come and do everything to chase that dog away, even kill the dog in the process because his child needs to be comfortable and take care of his child. That is how we should cry to God. When a child cries for her, the father hears. We have some challenges. These are beyond what we can handle. Let us cry to God. Our land needs healing. Our land needs to be healed. We are all overwhelmed. Those in government, executive, legislative, public service, civil servant, private sector, we are all overwhelmed. God cannot be overwhelmed. So, he is the omnipotent, omnipresence, omniscience. Believe God, he will heal our land. That is the reasons we are all that's the reason we are all here. Let us cry to God. My dear, that is very powerful if you ask me. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think that is very powerful. And um, what he said is rather very important. And I, and I believe that you are paying attention and you've listened carefully because he mentioned something very, very, very. He said when it, some, something is bothering you, it is not giving you rest. And that thing is making you very uncomfortable. You can cry to God. He said, and God will take it away. Mm, mm. Cry to God. God will take it away. Mm. There's a deep mystery in that word. That word can be dissected and it could mean a lot of things. Say, cry to God, God will take it away. Aish. You know, I, I, I believe that uh, you, you understand what I'm saying, right? Uh -huh. That's what the Lord God Master just says. They should cry to God. That this nation, everybody's overwhelmed. He said he is aware of what is going on. But the truth of the matter is, if you are not the boss, you are not the boss. 
once a boss, you know, still a boss, but when there's a new boss in town, the new boss called the shot, you see, and that's why Obasanjo Joy is under cap. When he was there, you know, we saw him at least, if or nothing, Obasanjo Joy related with the media. Oh, yes, he did relate with the media. But what we are having today is rather very unprecedented. A government that will not relate or talk with the media, a government that is that is that is angry with his people, does not communicate with his people. A government that does not talk to his people, I don't understand where we got, the, how we got to this point. Eh? I can't tell you. I can't tell you how we got here as a nation. I can't tell you. You know, 2015, that's what I see in life. And we've, I personally have learned a, a serious lesson, okay, from everything that's happened. I've learned a very serious lesson, very serious one. Oh. Don't just look at things superficially, just on the face level. Don't. You might be making a grave. When they say grave, that's something that can kill. A eh, grave mistake. Great mistake. It's two words I use. Grave and great mistake. Both accompanied by mistake. Yeah. In 2015, when these people started, the APC and their cohort, we believe them. You need to see, you need to hear the manifestos. Though. You need to hear them. For me personally, the one that was very intriguing was the one that it says students will be considered. Oh my gosh, I was overwhelmed. Is this, this is the same government that have not finished already thinking of scrapping NYSC? They've not they've not finished too. Everything wants to be taken. I mean, and so that there can be enough money to give to them. A senator is receiving thirteen point five million naira a month, not per annum, not one million, not one point three million. 13.5 million. Now, listen, that is basic salary. Then they give them wardrobe allowance. They give them travel allowance. They give them all kinds. I mean, don't forget that they have all kinds of uh, people working for them. All paid, fully paid by the government. You see why they can kill and make all kinds of sacrifices to become a senator, House of Representative member and the rest. You see the reasons. It's very juicy. Ah, it's fat and flourishing. All kinds, my brothers, my sisters, all kinds of, you know, things to prevent the country from moving forward. That's why a senator, 13.5 million naira in one month, not two months. So, besides allowances, by the time they had allowance and everything, over how many million for one month? Take that now, do it times 12. That is called per annum. Why the nation is bleeding. A, 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 if somebody has said the country cannot be paid. He's, he's uh, what do they call it now? Eh? Retired people, they cannot pay them. God have mercy on Nigeria. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.